not telling you this to scare you. Merely to inform you. There is a reason we fear the dark. Let me show you. Atropus, also called the World Born Dead, is an undead planetoid from the Forgotten Realms setting of Dungeons and Dragons. It comes from the word atropal, which means undead abomination. It is 700 miles in diameter, making it roughly one-third the size of the Earth's moon. Its origins are different based on the setting it appears in, though it does originate from Forgotten Realms. In the Eberron setting, only the Argonesian dragons understand what Atropus is. They alone look to the celestial bodies to divine the future and understand the doom that it will bring in all eventuality. Only creatures as powerful as they understand its coming to be inevitable and try not to let their thoughts dwell on it as it may attract Atropus's attention. In the Faerun setting, Atropus was spawned when Ao created the first gods. Some sages say Atropus was the last god created, but was stillborn for some reason. Atropus could be found orbiting Glyth, or Glyth, a dull gray planet well away from Faerun. Mind flayers were well into their wars with the general populace of Glyth when Atropus approached. Now it is a husk with no living inhabitants. Atropus is a world-ending event in any setting it is brought to. When it spots a planet with life on it, it will draw near and set itself into an orbit roughly equivalent to that of our moon. When the orbit is established, it will begin its descent closer and closer until all life on the planet is destroyed. As it approaches a planet's surface, undead rise from the grave in countless numbers. Divine spellcasters like clerics begin to lose their powers, and necromancy doubles and doubles again in power. Creatures that die immediately rise as undead and must be killed a second time. Atropus's attention can be attracted via an ancient home found in either Sharn, Waterdeep, or the free city of Greyhawk. This tome points to a legendary book from the Dungeons and Dragons setting, The Book of Vile Darkness. Through this book, it has been learned that to attract Atropus, a catastrophe of widespread death must occur. The Apocalypse from the Sky spell is one such method of doing so. The spell takes a full day to cast, but once it is done, it is unstoppable. 130 square miles of fire raining from the sky turns the eye of Atropus and it will alter its universal wanderings to come to the planet in question. As it comes closer and closer, divine magic will all but fail and necromancy will become easier and easier to commit. Graveyards literally empty themselves as any and all dead creatures anywhere on the planet rise as undead monsters. Reducing them to ash is the only way to stop them permanently at this point. Should players somehow reach the planetoid's surface, they have not only the harsh environment to deal with, but endless undead as well. The battle takes place in outer space, and there is no warmth or air to keep the PCs alive. Environmental damage alone can slay entire parties of heroes. Atropus can conjure any undead of any sort in massive numbers on its own surface, conjure undead dragons, and even angels of decay. Boasting over 800 hit points and a challenge level 20 and above of undead all over its surface, Atropus is nigh unstoppable by any normal or magical means. All of its noted surface locations grant massive buffs to the stats of the undead that wander across them, and all of the same features sicken, grant negative levels, and destroy heroes that go near them. It is not only an unstoppable astral body, but serves as a nearly impossible environment to navigate should players actually travel there. It is the world's end, whichever world it happens to be focusing on at the time.